I'm Whit Stinkington, and this is the Stinky News Network. Breaking news. Strange creatures called humans are using the smells in perfume, aftershave, and cologne to make themselves more attractive to each other. How weird is that? To find out more, here's our roving correspondent, Cory the Corpse Plant. Well, Whit, humans are strange. I think we can all agree on that. But apparently, they're not the only ones who use scent to attract a mate. I'm here with love guru Leonardo da Stinky. Leonardo, what can you tell us? I can tell you many things about Amore. For example, some animals use scent to attract mates too. As an expert in love, I myself use these antennae. They pick up the scent molecules of human moths. With my antennae, I can sniff out a mate almost two kilometers away. That's like a person being able to smell someone in another city. Are moths the only animals that you said to attract a mate? No, many creatures do. Well, none of them are as romantic as me. Well, they don't call you the love guru for nothing. Can you give us some more examples of animals that you sent to attract mates? Bats are blind as, well, as blind as bats. So instead, they use their scent to help them find their mates. And male alligators have a scent gland under their jaws that drives the female alligator fire. I guess when you have a face like that, you'd better smell good. And male lemurs can make a smell like lemons under their wrists to attract females. So Leonardo, it seems that humans use perfume and cologne to attract mates just like these animals. Maybe humans aren't as strange and gross after all? Oh no, they are very strange and very gross. Well, there you have it, Whip. Ah, humans, so strange. But if it works for moths, bats, alligators, and lemurs, it ought to work for me. Smell ya later. <laughs>